Getting a flat tire when you're out on the road is no fun. If you have any kind of car trouble, your first priority is to focus on getting to the right-hand shoulder of the road, never the center median. You want to pull your car as far off the road to the right as possible without getting stuck in the mud or putting yourself in a dangerous position, and turn on your hazard lights. Remember, you're jacking your car up on the right side of the road, so give yourself enough space and hard ground to work with. Safety first. Never turn your back on traffic and always stay behind the rails. First, turn off the car. Make sure your car is in park and put the parking brake on. Then block the wheels. Check out your owner's guide and pull out what you need, your jack and lug nut wrench. Use the wrench to start loosening each lug nut while the car is still on the ground. Be aware that some girls may not have the upper body strength to loosen those tight lug nuts. You may need to go get help. Once the lug nuts are loose, you're ready to place the jack in position to raise the car. Make sure you place the jack under the car per the owner's manual and also it's not a bad idea to check the jack in the trunk now before you experience a flat. Once the car is elevated, finish removing the lug nuts and pull off the flat tire. Always keep your arms, legs and head away from the jack. Never let them get under the car at any time. Next, place the spare onto the spindle and start replacing the lug nuts. Replace them like this in a star pattern. It helps you tighten the lug nuts evenly. When you're sure all the lug nuts are tight and secure, lower the car to the ground. Once on the ground, you have to retighten once again. When you're done, take a test drive, then double check every lug nut to make sure it's still tight. Remember, if you're driving on a compact spare, replace it with your full-size tire as soon as possible. Also, check your owner's guide about recommended speeds on compact tires. Many compact spare tires recommend that you don't go faster than 50 miles per hour. One last piece of advice, if it's too dangerous to get out of the car and fix your own tire, stay in the car with safety belts on, lock the doors, call 911 and wait for assistance.